Hi Virgo. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. I'm here with your next 72 hour predictions. Please keep in mind that not everything I say is going to resonate with everyone. This is a general reading. Okay. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading. We're going to open up with Psalms 136, or well, chapter 136, page 26. It says, Give thanks to the Lord of heaven, for his steadfast love endures forever. I love that. Amen. All right, so Virgo, we're going to do it a little bit different because I get a little bored. <laughs> so the setup's going to be a bit different today. If you're interested in the deck that I'm using, I'm using the Ascending Life Oracle deck. Um, you can find this on SD. Autom automatically, I'm getting something about an ex for you, Virgos. I know you don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear anything from my ex either, but you guys might be hearing something from an ex, which is very annoying. I know for some. For some of you, it might be great. <laughs> okay. So, Holy Spirit, what is going to be happening with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising? Let's see their recent past. Recent past situation. A recent past. There we go. Some of you Virgos are realizing that in the recent past you were not really happy. Um, you felt like something about feeling alienated. I was um, as I was shuffling, I get this vibe of you not really being happy, you feeling like strange at one point. It's weird. But we have the alien right here. Okay, their current situation. Current situation in the next 72. We have ghosting. Ghosting. Kind of want to pull them up so you guys can see it. Alien. Okay. Their obstacle in the next 72. <laughs> Hot mess. Hot mess. Okay. I love this deck. It's so pretty. Okay. And your advice. I don't really think I want to take this. You got to have to control y'all's anger. Okay. So I'm going to pull a couple of clarifying cards right here for you. So give me a clarification on the alien right here. I feel like there's been like a point where some of you in the past were feeling very alienated and um, like you didn't fit in. You're with someone who made you feel like you didn't feel, fit in, like you were strange, I'm getting. There was some injustice here with this person or this situation in your recent past. Um, clarification on the ghosting. Okay, we have ghosting the Eight of Pentacles in reverse here. So I feel like what this is saying, like you're ghosting someone who doesn't put a lot of work in. You could be ghosting someone who doesn't put a lot of work in because the Eight of Pentacles in reverse is definitely kind of a lazy person. Um, this may actually be a job that might reach out to you or something and you're kind of avoiding it because you don't really want to do the work I'm getting. Or you're ghosting someone who doesn't really do much of the work. They didn't really put in a lot of work and I feel like this, for some of you Virgos, it's someone that made you feel like you were alienated, alien, like an alien, like you're weird, like you didn't fit in. Now you're, you might be ghosting them. Interesting. And it can be vice versa, too. Like maybe you're ghosting that. I mean, they're ghosting you. Okay. Clarification on the hot mess. What <laughs> is this hot mess? Okay. We have the hermit. Virgo, you're... Um, your sign, the hermit. I feel like, Virgo, for your obstacle in the next 72, you may be feeling like a little bit of a hot mess. Um, maybe be feeling a little bit, like, irresponsible. And it's really interesting because I'm getting this feeling, Virgo, like, Virgo, you might actually be, like, um, getting a little burnt out or something. Because you, because I'm getting another message for some of you Virgos, like you want to ghost work that you did like to do, you don't really want to do it. Um, a little bit of a challenge is the next uh, in the next 72 is I feel like some of you might want to like um, 
not walk away from it, but really take a break from it because you feel like a little bit of a hot mess in the next 72. Okay, clarification on the anger. Some of you Virgos are really like a hot mess because you wanted to hear from this person and or hear back about this situation or whatever it is and you haven't and you might feel like you want to fall into being like a, ha a hot mess for some of you Virgos. Clarification on the anger. For some of you, I'm getting Virgo that in the next 72, <laughs> you are dealing with someone who is a hot mess. Like someone who is a hot mess, they're reaching out to you and you're kind of wanting to like be left alone. But this person is like contacting you. Like they're contacting you and you're just like, dude, leave me alone a little bit. I see right now with your, um, your, <laughs> your advice right here is to control your anger in the next 72. I feel like very well you might find yourself just a little bit moody, just a little moody, but you really need to control your anger. Um, because I am getting this sense of being a little bit moody right here. Um, make sure you're continuing to ground yourself and you stay focused. For some reason, I want to tell you to stay focused. Focused on that pinnacle that you're trying to build. Uh, stay focused. Don't get like um, too distracted, especially because of this hot mess um, energy that's coming in here. Um, I really feel like, why am I looking at this too? Interesting, something about someone having dishes where they shouldn't be. Um, I know that's random, something about dishes where they're, they're, they shouldn't be. But yeah, I feel like a hot mess is definitely reaching out to you, Virgo. And this person is kind of like really getting on your nerves. Okay, let me see what else is happening in the next 72 for you, Virgos. From my self-made deck. I'm not really gonna le use the tea leaves today. I don't really feel like it, okay. Letting go of expectations. <laughs> that's very good. So I feel like definitely some of you are letting go of expectations, especially with this person that's a bit of a hot mess. Maybe you expected something from them um, and you're kind of like letting go of those expectations because you're like, they're, they are who they are. And some of you will find yourself in the next 72 just letting go of expectations in general when it comes to what you were expecting in life. I mean, you're still... You know, you're still manifesting, Virgo. You're still, like, going for it, but you're letting go of the outcome, if that makes sense. Like, you're letting go of the outcome. You're just like, you know what? It's going to be what it's going to be. I know I'm doing the best I can. We also have mental clarity. In the next 72, you're going to be, you're going to have some mental clarity after a tough situation. Maybe even after this um, involvement with the um, hot mess here. Because someone here is a hot mess. And we also have some of you are traveling out of state. Um, some of you will be planning some type of trip to s travel out of state, whether you know it or not. Okay. Let me see what your finances look like. Hold on a minute, Virgo. Okay, for your finances in the next 72. For your finances. It's a financial message for Virgo. Okay. Okay. We have the artist here. So it says focus on finding the beauty in your day-to-day -day life. Um, some of you might be photographers, painters, graphic designers, artists. It says if you can't make a living with your art full-time, Start part-time to get started. So I feel like, Virgo, in the next 72, you guys might actually be taking, like, a part-time job of some sort. Maybe you'll be doing, like, your thing. I feel like you're going to be really working on your, um, because it's kind of weird. I have to stop this because I feel like I'm picking up on the energy of a lot of you Virgos are actually working um, your, jo your dream job full-time for some of you. You're doing it full time and you may actually be considering taking like another job part time to make ends meet because it's not really um, paying what you, you need it to pay right now. And it can be vice versa for a lot of you Virgos as well. So some of you, you may be actually considering taking a little part time job 
whatever it is. And that that's actually a really good move because I'm feeling like, Virgo, you feel like your money is kind of coming in slow with the halt right here. It says, your advice for your finances is don't borrow more than you can repay. Debt might start piling up. So make sure in the next 72 or so, so that you are not um, borrowing too much money that you cannot repay, okay? Because things are a little slow. All right, for your love life, Virgo, the next 72 for your love life. The past, Let's see, and present, the outcome. Woo! Okay, I'm getting a lot of like, I'm getting like not really much of a how do I say this? I feel like Virgo, you're really focused on yourself in the next 72. I really do. For some of you Virgos, you're getting this message that you need to free yourself from somebody. Um, you already know this. Um, your intuition has been telling you this. Um, go ahead and do it. Your intuition has been telling you that you need to free yourself from this uh, connection. Um, for other Virgos, I'm getting that you guys need to go ahead and like free yourself from feeling like trapped or something and get out there and express your love to someone because someone is really feeling you but it's like you you barricaded yourself in this little like thing this little like a wooden gate thing like you you're actually barricading yourself and spirit is saying it's okay to go back out there and express your love that's what i'm getting there and be a little bit more playful as well some of you are being a little bit too serious all right, Virgo, let me do a, just a few channel messages and we will be done. Okay, so your channel message is stop trying to be so polit politically correct. You know, say how you feel. You know, sometimes when you, <laughs> every time I pull this one, I just want to tell you like, not everything you say is going to like resonate or uh, people are going to understand everything you say. That's just how it is with when you're being human, you know, don't try to like, you know, make everything so politically correct because then you kind of lose your own self. OK, your authentic self. Um, Spirit is letting you know that you're meant to do it different because I feel like some of you verticals are like, I'm about to ghost what I had started, what I used to love to do. I'm not really liking it and you want to ghost it. But Spirit is letting you know that you actually are meant to do it different. Okay, you can keep running all you want to, but that's where your abundance is going to lie by doing it different. Yeah, some of you need to go ahead and start your YouTube channel um, if you're thinking of running away from your YouTube channel, Spirit says keep doing your YouTube channel. I think that message is for me. <laughs> and then we have, you have some very good friends. Now, if you feel like you don't have any very good friends, they're actually coming into your life. You do have some very good friends that are going to step in. All right, Virgo, if you like this reading, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.